So we have the Hammerhead uh, 208R Mudhead Go-Kart here. And we've got a few things going on. One, you can see that I think it was a groundhog was gnawing on all my wiring. So that's all, all down in here. See, he got it pretty good. So uh, we got rid of the groundhog, but I still have that problem. So I got a new wiring harness. I'm going to install that, but that's a separate project in itself there. What we're going to talk about is doing an oil change on this particular model go-kart because apparently it's a big mystery. There's not a whole lot of service information out there about this model. So I got some parts removed here. I'm going to uh, take you inside here and show you what you have to do and where the oil drain actually is on this engine. So let me position myself. I'll be right back. So to do this, I pulled some stuff out of the way just because it was in my way, but you, you may not have to do this. So the fender here, I took that off to give me access into here. And then uh, there's a cover, a black cover that goes over your drive belt right here. I pulled that off too just to be able to get more uh, readily in here. So this right here, this is your oil fill. This is your dipstick. So you just, obviously you want to take that out. You know, that's where you'll put your oil back in at. To get to your oil drain, your drain is, so here's the back of the go-kart. These are the seats right here. Take your driver's seat, slide it as far forward as you can, and then your oil drain plug is this plug right here. There's a bolt here. You can see this one's loose, and that one there is loose. I loosened those, and I'll show you why I did that in a second here, so hang on. So these two bolts are actually engine mount bolts. And what I did was I took just a regular screwdriver, pried up on this, and I stuck a flathead stubby screwdriver underneath there to pull this one out. Because where your drain plug goes in right here, there's not a lot of clearance. I mean, you can get a wrench on it, but it's hard to get that bolt out. So this is the actual drain plug. So we're gonna go put it in here. If you do this, you can uh, get the uh, drain plug in and out with actually using a ratchet and a socket without having to mess with a wrench. Or if you don't have a socket, you can get a wrench on it fairly easily doing it like this. So, But this is the oil drain plug on the Mudhead 208R. So like I said, loosen these two bolts, pry up the motor, stick a little flathead stubby under there. That'll give you just enough clearance to get this out. Then you can see I put that cardboard down right there, ran that right down into a drain pan right down there because if you don't you're gonna have a huge mess all over your frame and all down in here and everywhere so pretty simple process and then uh i'll show you uh i'm gonna put all this back together and then i'll show you what we got so here is the just to show you this is with the motor still jacked up a little bit you can get a socket on there tighten that up and then you can get it because it's on and off you know what i mean it's real easy I'll show you in a second here what it looks like with the motor not jacked up. So you can see with these motor mount bolts tightened down, you can't you can't really get on that very well. And you can possibly strip it. You can't get a wrench on it at that point, but it's just easier. Uh, but even then trying to trying to unscrew it and get it out of there is gonna be a task too. So so you loosen these two bolts, jack it up a little bit, that pops right out. And then you can see I got the cardboard there. I said that cardboard went right down into my drain pan. It keeps the mess off the floor. It keeps the mess off the chain and the frame and everything. So just throw the cardboard away and everything's good. So let me button this all up and you'll see what, the, what it looks like here. So there's our belt drive, the cover back on for that, and... And there is your fender back on. And after having this stuff on here, I'm just messing with this. It kind of is easier. If you remove this fender, you don't have to. But I think it makes it easier so you don't have to fight around it to get back into this plug back here. But So right here, like I said, this that's your oil drain plug on the Mudhead 208 go-kart. And this is your oil fill. It takes 16 ounces. And I'm going to use synthetic oil in here. Uh, I'm not sure what they fill it with. When it's new, but I'm putting synthetic in there. So, let me get it all funneled up here. 
and uh, we'll get her done. All right, so we got our funnel. I really like this funnel. It's pre-filled. Just run the hose right down in there into your fill port. And then that blue valve right there, you can't see it. You just twist that and it opens up and lets the oil flow. So I'm going to fill this thing up real fast. All right, so like I said, this right here, ah, that's your oil fill plug. That's also your dipstick. So we got it all filled up. Took a little bit more than 16 because uh, this might be a little bit different model. But we got it all filled up. Now it's all ready to go. So that's the oil change on the Mudhead 208R Hammerhead Go-Kart. Hope this helps somebody out.